Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. I've got some Mrs. Renfro's Ghost Pepper Salsa to review today. Oh, I don't want to block Maggie. Um, but before I review this, I want to wish some friends happy birthdays. Harold L. in Marshville, North Carolina, USA. Happy birthday to you. Ember D. in Sterling, Illinois, USA. Happy birthday to you. Aaron M. in Hastings, East Sussex, UK. Happy birthday. And Lonnie B. here in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to anybody who's celebrating a birthday today. And to the rest of us, let's have a great day or a happy unbirthday. And I also want to wish a friend a happy belated birthday. Um, I believe it was last night I sent the message to Floyd and Ember saying, hey, which one of you am I wishing a happy birthday to tomorrow? And I believe it was this morning that I woke up to a reply saying it was Ember's birthday. And then that kind of had the, the gears turning in my head and I said, well, that then when's Floyd's birthday? Um, and she said, well, it was just on the 14th last Wednesday. So I want to wish a happy belated birthday to you, Floyd. Um, sorry that I missed it. I probably would have caught it if I was more social media aware, but I haven't been too active on Facebook and whatnot. But uh, either way, my apology and happy belated birthday. Hope you've been having a great week and I hope everyone has an awesome day today. Um, let's get to this. Let's review this. Maggie's over there, so I don't need to worry about blocking her now. Um, <laughs> this ghost pepper salsa from Mrs. Renfro's. They're in Fort Worth, Texas, USA. That's where it's made. Uh, this was a gift from my buddy, Catherine, who's also my cousin. Um, thank you very much for all of your support, Kat. You are awesome. I love you. And, uh, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to this and then we'll chat a little bit. Um, <laughs> let's see what it says here. Pioneering, award-winning, homegrown. Mrs. Renfro's pioneering flavors have earned global acclaim. Founded in a little garage in Fort Worth, Texas by Mr. and Mrs. George Renfro in 1940, were still run by the Renfro kids and grandkids. Visit mrsrenfros.com slash recipes to find tasty dishes like scary hot chicken wings. That sounds excellent. Um, refrigerate after opening, no GMO, no gluten, no added sugar. Here's the ingredients. <laughs> Tomatoes, water, jalapeno peppers, tomato juice, green chili peppers, vinegar, cornstarch, salt, dried onion, dried ghost pepper, dried garlic, spices, <laughs> cilantro, ancho chili powder, guajillo chili powder, chipotle pepper powder, mesquite smoke flavor, and oleo resin ghost pepper. I think oleo resin is extract. Does that mean this has ghost pepper extract in it? This could be a hot one. Hot squared and I believe that's the shape of Texas it's funny how that's like a I would say a worldwide recognizable shape the shape of Texas is that correct would you agree with me there I think that's pretty cool that's pretty awesome I don't know <laughs> so let's open this up just making sure oh, there's my spoon it's in my back pocket let's give this a good shaky shake before we open it up I do also have a cheese queso version of their ghost pepper salsa to review sometime down the road. Oh no. Oh good. I'm not that strong anymore. This is really hot y'all. I just noticed that on the lid. It's got a bunch of things on there. Okay, it just repeats. My mouth is watering. Let's see what we're dealing with here. smells tomatoey. I'll be honest, it doesn't smell all that hot. It doesn't smell all that spicy. It smells like a salsa. 
I've lost the spoon again now. Oh, oh no, maybe it was in that pocket before. It's like, did I switch pockets? Sounds like somebody's starting up their lawnmower. It's a beautiful day. It was actually, I, th I thought for sure that it was going to rain. But the sun's just poking up. The clouds are just breaking up. Let's try this out. Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper salsa. Keep my shorts. Mmm. That's tasty. Mmm. I didn't show it to you at all. I'll show it to you. It's got a kick, for sure. It's quite thin, it's salsa, but it's got some good chunks in it. Not on that spoonful, I guess. There you go, there's a nice chunk of tomato. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. That was a good salsa. It's got a pretty nice kick to it too, for sure. I would say there's a good chance that that is extract. That's got more of a burn than just a little bit of ghost pepper in there. I mean, there was quite a list of peppers in there, but ghost was the hottest for sure. Flavor on this, hmm. I think I'd give that like an eight and a half out of 10 on my flavor rating. My heat level right now, I'm probably at a two out of 10, I think. Did you hear that? That was a raven. I love the way they scream. It sounds hilarious. It sounds like the surprised Homer Simpson scream to me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm at a two out of 10. If you were at habanero level, you might call this a five or a six, probably a five out of 10. If you're at jalapeno level, you might call it an 8 out of 10, maybe a 9. It's got a pretty good kick, mostly the tip of the tongue, the mid throat, a little bit of warmth in the chest for sure, warmth down in the stomach. Um, I would absolutely recommend Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper salsa if you want hot salsa. And you know, you see hot at the grocery store. And it's like a medium or a mild, right? This is actually hot. This has got a good kick to it. Um, now, if you want hotter than hot, that than what's typically at the grocery store as far as salsas go, in in Kamloops here, anyways. Maybe maybe in, in Texas. This this is probably all over the place in Texas. I would imagine actually. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I recommend it. I would absolutely restock it. I don't know if I've ever seen it for sale around here, to be honest. I'm going to definitely watch for it now, though. Thank you very much, Kat. Um, as far as ugh, parrots, you know, salsa things, nachos, tacos, burritos, enchiladas, fajitas, taco salad, um, you know, lots of stuff, too. You can put this on macaroni and cheese. You can put this in, what's that stuff? I just had some of it for breakfast. Cottage cheese. You can put this in cottage cheese. Um, yeah, put it on a rice cake. You know, you can put this on all sorts of things. It's, this is a salsa. Use it for salsa-like things. <laughs> um, I didn't bring any chips out here. To be honest, I do have a bag of haunted ghost chips in the cupboard, but I have one bag of chips. <laughs> and I'm, I don't need to use it for this review. It's not a part of it. I can, I can recommend it. Dip, dip some chips in it. Some tortilla chips of any kind. This would actually probably definitely complement a haunted ghost chip quite well. I should have almost done that, but it, I didn't. Um, yeah, I had a hard time even bringing out the camera stuff today, to be honest. It's funny, I actually watched yesterday's video. I was in such a great mood. That was definitely the high point of the day. I had a nosedive after that. I basically slept all day, got very emotional throughout the day. That's right. Um, just stressing about things. Money, life, home, um, you know, all sorts of things. Just struggling, definitely. Yeah, definitely emotionally struggling. Um, my cousin Kat, I wanna talk about <laughs> my failure as a friend 
I, uh, I told my cousin that I wanted to refinish a table. I actually talked about this on a video like a couple of years ago. I never finished it. It's still sitting in there. I never finished it. Um, I poked at it a few times, but I never finished it. For the first year, my excuse was I was just busy with the garden, busy with the yard, busy with the channel. Lots of challenge stuff, actually. And then this year, you know, big time changes this year. And uh, I am honestly really struggling just to maintain things here. Um, not because I'm working on stuff all day. I don't want to give you the impression that I'm working from sun up till sundown every day and working like a farmer. I, I'm i struggling to stay awake a lot of the time even because my depression is hitting so hard that it is actually just draining me of energy. Um, yeah, I slept almost all day yesterday, so now I'm even further behind on the things that I needed to do. And uh, that sucks. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble getting this channel um, locked in properly for monetization. I have enough money accumulated that I could get paid any time, but I can't figure it out. I've actually tried a couple of times to um, submit the banking forms and uh, I'm doing something wrong. It just keeps getting rejected and it takes like five days every time. I think three or five days, three to five days. I'm just, I'm starting to not even care. Like I'm, I don't know. I, and not that this channel is all about the money, but if I can make a little bit of money, you know, it'll definitely help because this channel costs money to keep going. Um, I don't know. I am also, you know, just kind of venting right now, but I do want you to know that I'm not complaining and I'm not asking for handouts. I don't really want handouts. That's another part of the problem. Um, I've I've had enough handouts. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll be honest. I don't know what to do. I'm not physically fit enough to work a real job. I was hoping this YouTube thing would kind of work out, offset things a little bit more or at all even, but um, with everything going on here at home, a garden, um, cleaning, maintenance, taking care of Maggie, this channel, mental care as well. Um, it's like an impossible game. It's honestly like an impossible game. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so again, I'm not, this isn't me asking for any sort of a handout at all, other than the exact same support that I've been get getting from you, the emotional support, the comments, and that's another thing, the comment sections that I don't attend to, so that's why I feel bad even encouraging a comment section. I did disclose that I almost disabled the comment section altogether, but that would be selfish of me because a lot of you interact in the comment section and I love seeing those interactions. <clears throat> I just want you to be aware. I want you to know that I'm going through a really tough time. I'm really emotionally struggling, financially struggling, uh, physically struggling, you know, and I know a lot of you are. I'm not trying to say that you aren't. I know that a lot of people are struggling these days. And a lot of us, you know, life is a struggle. It's not easy. But if we can talk about it, um, bring awareness to the fact that nobody's life is perfect. We all go through struggles. A lot of us put, put on our mask like we're not struggling, which I kind of do when I put on... Sorry, when I rec put press record on these videos, I smile for you, <laughs> and it helps me too. But I don't know. I almost want to just stop with the YouTube stuff because it's just costing me money, and maybe I could spend more time on this home and this yard and spend more time with Maggie, even though I love that we have so much video of Maggie. I'll be able to go back and look at these videos, you know, forever. She's such a good girl. Let's have a hangout with Maggie. Hey Maggie, that's another reason why I try to make it mandatory Maggie time. I want you in every video. Yes. Yeah. 
good girl, Maggie. You're a very good girl. Absolutely terrified to lose that dog. The inevitable it happens every pet we get, every pet we have, every um, animal companion, we will probably outlive them. And that's the, the curse of being a pet owner. They're such good companions, but they don't last forever. So we just try to treasure the time that we have the most. Right, Maggie? Are you a good girl? She says yes. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, I was a little bit long-winded for sure, but uh, I'm glad we had this talk. I didn't cry. I thought I would. I'll be honest with you. I thought I was going to. And that's okay. That's another thing. It's okay. It is okay to cry. It is. There's nothing wrong with crying. It doesn't make you any less of a man or any less of anything. It's good to cry. It's healthy. So, on that note, I'll reach for this again. I want to thank my best buddy, my cousin, Kat. Thank you so much for all of the support, all of the encouragement. Even offering to help me with things after I told her that I wasn't going to be able to finish the table. She still offered to help me more. What a wonderful human being. I love you, Kat. So, I don't know what today brings for the rest of the day, other than I really just want to stay in a good mood. I didn't succeed at that yesterday. I did succeed at getting a video out, but I'd like to keep smiling for today. I'd like to enjoy myself today. And I hope you enjoy yourself too. I hope you're all having a great day. I love you all so much. Um, all of your support means so much to me. I love you. You rock. Um, thanks for keeping this so enjoy enjoyable. Um, you've all been so wonderful. I don't, it sounds like I'm saying goodbye right now. I'm not. Uh, I'm just saying. Just saying that I love y'all. <laughs> so anyways, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Sergeant Dunn's YouTube channel. Hop over there and give them a subscribe if you haven't already. And up here, some playlists, some things for you to click on and enjoy. I love you all. Let's have a great day. And let's hang out again soon, okay? This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.